exact was replaced by Jennings and Johnson. As much ahead of their time as Barard had been behind it. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon up in the sky. February, June, or July. Snow time ain't no time to sit outdoors and spoon. So shine on, shine on, harvest moon. Oh, me, am I got? Hey, where are you going? I'm getting out of here. This theater's been raided so many times, the police get top billing. And that doorman, he told you you hadn't had a bite in four days? Well, that's all right. I bit him. <laughs> My real reason is I don't think the act is working. Oh, pal, don't take on so. Be positive. Okay. I'm positive the act isn't working. Well, whose fault is that, tightwad? Who ever heard of buying a comedy act from a French mime artist? It was a bargain. Some bargain. What did we get? Ten pages of blank paper. Yes, but we didn't know that till we had it translated. Just think what all these girls in Bradford are gonna miss. It's tragic. Goodbye, I'm leaving all the other girls behind me. Goodbye, I'm caught so after this, don't ever mind me. I made the leap and I took the chance. I found the girl who could make me dance, so it's a wedding trip with my own. I'm Hank. I'm Bill. Can we buy you a drink, honey? Something sharp for a sharp little lady? <laughs> Get her a gin. Make it a double. A double. <laughs> there are a couple of cards, aren't there? They are. Are you a card, Richard? Me? Well, I'm only a boy. Julie was right, they were a couple of cards. They existed in an atmosphere of cigars, whiskey, and cool lechery. <laughs> Uncle Nick liked them, and they respected him. He spent many an afternoon teaching them to play billiards and snooker. And of course, he couldn't resist showing off his trick shots. That's good. Can we use it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's go through it again. How many more times do you have to do this? Till we can do it in our sleep. Doesn't bother me how many times we have to rehearse it, as long as it confuses the cops. And helps a lady in distress. Yeah, let's hear it for ladies in distress everywhere. God bless them. Right, Miss Blaine. I get there early with the bright red coat and two hats I'll buy tomorrow. I give the coat and one of the hats to Mrs. Foster Jones, and I wait behind the screen while she's talking. When she comes behind the screen again, I take the coat, go down the steps, imitating a walk, and hope to find myself arrested. Don't forget to practice the change till you can do it in under three seconds. I'll do my best, Mr. Arlington. Bill. Hank and I wait for the lady outside the pass door here. Then we just lead her out of the building this way. Two gallant American gentlemen coming to the assistance of a nice old lady. It was ever thus. There won't be a dry eye in the house. Richard, I leave my seat here and go after Ju Miss Blaine. 
and uh, tell the police who she really is and uh, try and keep them there as long as possible. Why can't I do that? Why can't I go after Julie? Why does it have to be him? Because you're the key to the whole thing, Tommy. You with my life. After Nancy left to play in pantomime, I resolved that the quickest way to stop feeling angry and bitter was to forget her. The musical Tiplos, the act which replaced Susie and Nancy, helped. They were priceless. They had Hank Johnson and Bill Jennings and me in stitches. <laughs> the trouble with you, son, is you just don't appreciate genuine refinement. <laughs> You look shit, two females that even Bill keep his hands off us. <laughs> I'm trying to picture them playing Butte, Montana on Saturday night. <laughs> There's a bar across the street, friends. You coming here? Yes. Plenty of water with it. Thanks, but I think a better way here from the turn. Suit yourself. Exposure to so much culture makes me kind of dry. <laughs> hey, what about you, cheapskate, booking us into that lousy hotel? What do you mean, lousy hotel? Look, did you take the $3 room or the $5 room? What's the difference? Well, the $3 room has a rat trap in it. The $5 room has a rat trap with cheese. I took the $3 room. I wasn't hungry. <laughs> Aren't you getting married today? I thought you were getting married today. Well, good luck, buddy. This is it. Come on, we're gonna have a little raggy wedding. Come on, come down where all the classy folks are heading. I've got the preacher in his ring. I've got the girl, I got it. You're coming to Christmas dinner at the Flying Horse. Tommy's giving it. Tommy? Yeah, and everyone else is coming too. Well, that's good. But how's it gonna help us? I thought I don't remind me together. Don't worry, my darling. I'll give you a signal when to slip out and go back to the bench with. And don't eat and drink too much. Start this way, just a little bolder will go through life a swaying a little bride. And when a preacher man is through blessing me and you, making one or two, shake your shoulder and not to do a happy wedding glide. Keep this to yourself, but I'm getting an idea for an effect that'll really give them the creeps. A two dwarf effect. Two dwarf. It'll take some time to work out. Two Barneys? Yes, I know. That's a drawback. Oh, by the way, watch what you do with your hands at this Christmas dinner. What do you mean? Oh, don't come it, lad. I'm talking about Julie Blaine. Do you think nobody noticed the week before last at Sheffield? Sissy's got no sense, but she has sharp eyes and ears, and I don't miss much. So none of that. We want a Merry Christmas. Not trouble. Thought you didn't believe in Merry Christmas. I don't. But I believe in avoiding trouble. Let's forget it and never do the happy wedding glory. Come on. Thrill us. Two perfectly ordinary glasses. Yeah. Oh, oh well, that's, I don't that's believe it. Underwhelming. 
<laughs> more, more. Seeing ain't believing. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I, I, I'm at a loss for that. <laughs> <laughs> Love he lays his glory. 